So you found your nail salon and you found your nail technician. And now you're making the appointment to figure out what kind of nails do you get? How do you decide that? I have a guest today. Hi, Steve. Howdy. You've never had nails before, have you? No. Okay. So I've never done you before and you've never, so you've never, this is new. So how do you figure out what kind of nails do you want? So I'm going to continue like it's just an appointment. So how are you? I'm doing great. How are you? Good. So you want some nails. What kind of nails were you thinking? Um, well, I'm pretty open to exploring mm. what the okay. possibilities are. Okay. So when you do work, like, are you busy with your hands? Like, what kind of thing do you do for work that you don't want your nails to interfere with that, like, your daily schedule? Um, I don't do a lot of, like, heavy lifting or anything like right. that, but certainly a lot of, like, typing on the keyboard, um, applications on, like, touchscreen devices. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. And do you want any particular type of length? Do you have an um, idea? I wouldn't say that I want to poke my eye out, <laughs> but um, I'm not scared of a little length. Okay, okay. And what kind of shape have you thought about? I mean, I've always loved the shape of coffin, and okay. I really liked the shape of like your slim almond. Oh, it's my favorite. Yeah. Personally, it's just you know doesn't really matter. I don't really like coffin that much. Yeah. And when it's right, it's right. It looks really when it's long. I like a long, long coffin that can look cool, but. My favorite is that sort of stilamin look, sort of between an almond and a stiletto nail. It just looks really elegant. Yeah, it does. So it really, really like slims it. the hand out, too. I mean, most of us don't have these long, you know, model fingers, so it's kind of nice to stretch that out. Yeah. What about color and stuff? What kind of thing, color do you like, if um, any? I love purples, teals, okay. pinks. I know, like, whenever I used to color in a coloring book, like, everything ends up looking like Easter. Okay, so you like a bright kind of summer, <laughs> Eastery. Pastels are more vibrant, do you think? Um, um, pastels, probably. Okay. okay. Yeah. And do you like glitter or more flat or textures? or? I don't think I'm very big on texture. Okay. But uh, okay. I don't mind a little glitter. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's get a look at your hands. You have beautiful hands. I love these nail beds. What I call is a lot of nail estate. And what that means to me is you have a lot of natural nail. Now, we want to extend it. And we can get more design and the longer the nail is, the more design you can get in there, right? Mm -hmm. But we've got to be practical and we want to make sure that you're not breaking them. We don't go too long. But you have a long nail bed. That is the measurement from here to here is really long. So the rule of thumb is you cut that in half and I can do this length on the end to be reasonable that you could go about your day and most likely not break them. It's a length you'll probably be able to manage. Do you think that would be reasonable or do you think that's a little bit much? That sounds good to me. Okay. And we'll be able to get a lot of nail out of this. And with that, we'll be able to get a lot of design on here because there's going to be quite a bit of nail when we add it, especially. I really like that. Okay. I think I asked you everything that I need to know. Oh, what kind of price point do you think you're looking at? Um, I think I've heard around like the $80 price mm -hmm. point is, okay. you know, a okay. good starting area. That's fair. Yep, that's fair. Now, have you done a lot of research about nails and stuff? Like, do you have a preference of which kind of product you're looking for? Or are you just going to leave that up to me? I think I've seen through some of your other videos where you asked the nail technician what they yeah. excel in. Yeah. Oh, I'm so glad you brought that up. You're paying attention. Yeah. Okay. The reason why that's so important is, I mean, you come to me, I can do everything, right? Mm -hmm. But if you go to a nail technician and you say, oh, I want acrylic and they can't do acrylic, they're not going to want to try to disappoint you. So they're probably going to try their best because they probably tried it. They probably dabbled in it and they're going to try to do it. And they're probably going to disappoint you because acrylic is rather hard to do. It's the strongest medium, but it's the hardest to do. So um, if they're really good at gel, they can do pretty much everything too, but they can't really do the acrylic. So then if you go to an artist that is really good at gel, let them do the gel on you. So that's why I say pick an artist that you love their work and let them do their thing mm -hmm. on you. So um, you've never worn them before, so we don't know if you're really hard on them or not. But I just have to decide what I'm going to put on, whatever I'm in the mood for. Yeah. <laughs> but for me, I think I'm just going to collect a bunch of colors. To me, I think you're all about color and shape. Did you have any photos for reference? Have you looked um, around? Yeah, I do. I mean, the world is full of lots of photos to get ideas. I do the same thing when I go and get my hair cut, actually. I usually show a photo if I right. don't. Uh... Well, it's an excellent reference because it's such a visual medium. When you show a photo, it really kind of helps understand what exactly you're looking for. You show me a photo, and then I'll see where we can go with that. Okay. I really like like these two. So when a client, I'm just going to interrupt you for a second, Steve, in the middle of our appointment. When a client shows you a photo, 
I ask these questions so I can really narrow down what do they like about it? Because it could be a ton of different things going on. So Steve, what about these particular photos do you like? Um, What's kind of drawing your attention? Is it the shape, the colors? I think it's the shape and the design, but also yeah. like, I like that there's not like too many colors all in one oh. nail. Right. Okay. So the reason why I ask those questions, because if they're married to the color, then I may not have that color. And I'm going to go crazy looking for it. And I might be in the back room going, oh my God, I don't have that color. But then I find out, oh, it wasn't really the color was such a big deal. It's really the shape that I really like. So I try to narrow down what the customer really likes when they're looking at that photo. So you've identified, you don't like a lot of multi colors happening on all the different nails. So you like more of a a uniform or all nails are picking a design and they're all the same? But Pretty much, fair. yeah, I think okay. so. And there's no glitter in here. I kind of wanted to throw some glitter at you today for a little fun. What I do you think, think it would be cool to have like, you know, how the lighter part has okay. the, like the glitter in there would okay. be kind of nice. Cool. Okay. Okay. So the shape is something we really like. We're going to throw some glitter in and I think we'll go as long as we can with the structure of your nail plate so we don't have any breakage or lifting or anything like that. And you know, the new set is always the starting point. We sort of put one on and then see how you like it. And if there's a lot of break, which is like, oh, too long for what you're doing. That's how we learn. That's what custom nails are all about. How's that? Sounds like a plan. Okay. Let me go get some products. Awesome. So I just wanted to ask you, are you kind of like open to some like variants? Because I'm thinking maybe a bit see-through-ish. Just thinking. That sounds fun. Yeah. yeah I'm definitely okay. open. And the reason why I ask that is because I do want to know the nail design and color. Like they were, when I asked Steve, he was sort of focusing on the design and color. So I want to know where we're going before I build. Because if I build something solid and we kind of like the see-through look, it might, might work with what we're going to do later. So that's why I kind of asked first. But I think we're going to put on a, a, a kind of a clearish kind of acrylic. And then we have a little bit more room to do different designs and a little bit more variants. Okay? Sounds okay. like a plan. Okay, I'm going to start with the acrylic build. So I just want to let you know that all the products used in this video are available at nailcareer.com. You got a couple of little blood splinters I saw in there. And that's just due to when you were, because you're playing around with acrylic, aren't you? Or product. I have been playing around with some gel stuff. Okay. Yeah. And uh, I think it was when I was taking it off. Got you. Okay. Yeah, it hurt a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> and that's okay, that happens. Those are just little, like, little blood splinters. So you kind of pulled it back a little bit and it ripped it a little bit. So did it hurt at all? Uh, a little. Yeah. Yeah. So it just caused a little bit of blood in there and they dried up and they, you literally could almost pull it out just like a splinter. Gross. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's a bit, but you're okay. It's good. And it's right at the end, and they're growing off. How long ago did you do that? Um, uh, Probably over a week now. Right. Maybe okay. two weeks. Yeah, so another week will be gone.
Okay, so we got all the product on, and now we want to take all the forms off. That's for good luck. <laughs> Over both shoulders. Over your shoulder. Oh, okay. <laughs> Reckless. Yeah, it's just <laughs> reckless. Okay, let's file them and shape them to the almond stiletto-ish that you wanted, right? Yeah. Okay, so they are a little longer than you're supposed to do, remember? But sometimes we get a little greedy. <laughs> <laughs> and we want them a little longer. So because we had a little bit of um, the little ripped nail, but it is on the edge. If it was more on the nail uh, bed or the plate more down, I would be a little bit more like, okay, we'll have to go shorter. But because it was on the edge and it was almost grown off, <laughs> we'll go a little bit longer. But I'll do a length and then I'll check with you to see if you like it. Cool. Because we can always go shorter. Okay, so I'll start filing. Okay, once I go over and take out all the bulk and do the main shape, then I go over with my arbor band and smooth the entire nail to get ready for the gel application. If you do this, oh my goodness, it just makes a huge difference. When you don't do it, you do notice the difference. When you do do it, you can really see. Okay, and then I will just go through each and every finger with my fine file and make sure the edges are smooth and my shaping is exactly how I want it. This finger is my favorite. I love the way it's shaped. Do you see what I see? Super pointy. Is it too pointy? Oh, no. Oh, you like it. Okay, yeah. good. Because, you know, you can't have a two point two, and I want to make sure you like it. <laughs> I like it. Okay. Then I will go over each and every one with my sanding sponge. Okay, let's de-dust it and start the design. Looks wild, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Okay. To create this design, this is how I'm doing. I mean, there's lots of ways you can do one design and of course, different variables. And that's what we're okay with that. We're okay with variables. Yeah. Now I'm gonna take the color I'm going to put, this is Blossom, this expands. Whatever you put on it will expand. See that? Oh, wow. <laughs> You're not supposed to see it. I was going to try to surprise you, but that's oh. not going to happen. we got to do this together now. <laughs> Wear a blindfold next. <laughs> I know, that's what we're going to do. Watch this color. Oh, neat. Isn't that neat? And it's still see-through. Yeah, I think I hate that part. Oh. I don't like seeing the natural nail. I mean, I'll put some oil under there and you'll get rid of the dust, but it's not my favorite look. But I like the see-through part. I just don't like this part. But when I do the alien thing, I could go over top of it. You won't see it. We're experimenting here. Yeah, exactly. Now, let me just try something and see if you like it. Okay. In that picture that you showed me, they did have like a base color and it was a solid. Mm -hmm. It was really pretty. And I think this one might match it quite well. If not, maybe between the two. Let me just see if we like the look of it. Cause that's not cured. So we don't, we're not married to it yet. Right. So let's just put this base coat on. It's very soft. So it's still gonna be see-through, but ooh, I really like it. See what I mean? That's really pretty. It is, isn't it? Okay, well, let's nuke it. It's got this, like, cool jelly. Yeah, don't nuke the thumb, though. Okay. Just nuke that one. Have you burned yourself on your lamp before? My nail beds are on the thinner side. They always have been. 
And if you have a little bit thinner or if you overfile it or if you put too thick a product and you try to cure it fast, it'll shrink and cause a spike, heat spike, they call it, and it will burn. And it hurts. It does. Oh, you know, <laughs> you've had the pleasure. I'm uh, yeah. learning through a lot of mistakes. So. That's how I learned. That's how everybody learns. Yeah. The thing is, when we take those mistakes and we don't keep repeating them thinking it's right, once we learn those and we're like, that can't be right, and then you work on it and try to see how you, or ask a question like you just did. But yeah, it happens. That's why they have this 90 second, or I have this on mine, it's a 90 second. So it's the same cure, but it's longer, so that heat comes in slower. But if you have a machine that doesn't do that, you can literally just creep your hand in when the light is on. Just creep it in slowly. Yeah. It has the same effect. I got to tell you, that's getting my vote. I love that. I do too. I love it. Okay. Now I'm going to put the blossom on it. And a blossom is an expanding gel. Whatever you put into it will expand that color. Okay, let's drop this. This is one I think is my favorite color of that. Oh, I like that. Let's and maybe because we've seen the photo now, so we're sort of married to it. So it's a little bit more like that. I'm dropping them and having that little circle. Do you mind that little circle? No. Nope. I like it, actually. Okay. There, theirs was a little bit smoother, but I kind of like that. That looks really cool. Do we want that now? Do we want to put the lines in around that? Or do you want more of this? Let's try a little more of the, the little dot stuff. Let's do a second layer and see what that looks like. Do you deal with a lot of indecisiveness as a technician from clients? Well, yeah, that's why it's good to have a consultation. When you do nails all day long, that indecisiveness at the end of the day and they sometimes will say, well, you just be creative. Then you have to think, then you already know what they want. Then you, and you're like, oh my goodness, I don't, <laughs> I'm tapped out. <laughs> so it's good when a client knows what they want. That's why it's good for them to, you do this before an appointment or you have enough time in the appointment that you can do the consultation and the design. Yeah. But I mean, cause you, there's a thousand, a million different ways you can go even with the same colors that we picked. There's so many different options you can go. Even I can become indecisive with it, you know? You get kind of an idea and you're like... But it's good to, like, keep your mind open and experiment kind of thing. Yeah. We might be ending up with something completely different, but the question is, do we like it? If it was really important, like a wedding or a prom or a special occasion nails, I wouldn't do this on the fly. I would definitely, unless you're picking from a design, I want that one, and yeah. it's, you already know how to do it. But when it's just like this, then it's okay. But if it's really special and important, then you wouldn't want to do it like this. So they sort of bumped into each other. And then I'm thinking ahead with the, the alien type figures on it. What do you think? Looking pretty cool so far. It does look kind of cool, doesn't it? I like the double layer. What do you think? Yeah. I don't think I like this one. I, I like this one better. It's run all over the place now. <laughs> yeah, we didn't cure it. Yeah, I'm kind of not in love with this one anymore. I mean, like, I'm really glad we did the clear. Yeah. But, oh, we better nuke it or it's going to start changing. <laughs> <laughs> it just keeps moving and moving. Okay, good enough. Okay, so let's put this gel. Let's go. See, there's a mistake. Oh. But I got lots of tricks to fix mistakes. <laughs> Don't even know what happened. <laughs> I think that's probably the best tip of all is just being able to fix your mistakes when yeah. you know you make them because we're not gonna do it perfect. Okay, let's get this color on. Do you like subtle glitters or chunky? I don't know. Mm. I have a feeling you're going to be a subtle glitter guy. Okay. I'm just feeling like when when I show you this, 
Does it speak to you? I mean, it's really pretty. But I feel a butt coming. That is a hard <laughs> butt coming. Yeah. So when I show you this. I really like that. Okay. Yeah. So I was right then. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty. I like that. So now we want to get that blossom. But, you know, I don't want it to change too much. So I'm going to do one at a time. I'm going to do a blossom. Then I'm going to do the pattern. Then we're going to nuke it. At Sounds least good. flash cured a little so bit. So it doesn't run everywhere. Yeah, because it's going to change by the time I get to all the fingers. It'll change a little bit. So we want to make sure that we get it right where we want it. And then we can cure it a little bit. Also, it eliminates the, um, I was taking too long. And that's how that happened over there. Mm. Okay, I think I'm going to do a little more of this color. Didn't we do two coats of it too? Yes. Yeah, that's right. We may not have to. That's kind of neat. This is softer though, isn't it? Yeah. Wonder how I did that. It was two that did it. Okay, that's kind of neat. Okay, let's nuke it. Okay, I am going to do two coats of the blossom. Oh. Yeah, that's looking pretty You cool. like that? Okay. Let's nuke it before he changes his mind. <laughs> try the black. I, I know it's harsher looking, but I kind of think it's going to look really good. You like black, don't you, Steve? I actually love the black. You love it? Yeah. Good. Okay. And I'm going a little bit thinner. We can decide if we like that. I kind of think it looks good thinner. What do you think? Yeah, so cool. It's very alien-esque, isn't it? <laughs> yep. I like that, eh? Love it. That looks really cool. Okay, let me go ahead and do the rest. That's cool. You like it's that? It's like a spooky branch. Almost. It is kind of. You okay with it? Yeah. The alien cross <laughs> slash spooky branch. That might be my favorite. Okay, let's nuke that. Oh, you can put it like this. Just try a little glitter and see if you like it. This is going to go on a wet top coat. So then if you don't like it, it's easily removed. Okay, now I'll just be very strategic. And you see if you like it. What do you think? Yeah, that's really pretty. You like it? Yeah. A little or more or? Um, I'll probably do a little more. 
A little more glitter? A little more. Okay. Now, we could just do as an accent, but you like them all the, all the same. So oh, you I, know what? I don't mind that. You'd like that? Yeah. Then the other question would be, if you're going to do an accent, would you want this finger or the ring finger to be the accent? Because we can do either. What's normally the finger that's e the accent? Either one. Usually, I think it's the ring finger. Okay. But you can do either. Let's do the middle finger just for fun. <laughs> you use that one a lot? <laughs> okay. A little more glitter. The glitter has different looks when it's on the different colors. That's neat. Yeah. What do you think? You like That's that? That's cool. Okay. Just the one finger? Let's just do the one okay. finger, yeah. Okay, we'll just put a little top coat on it, make it nice and shiny. Perfect. Okay, you know what time it is, don't you? Nuke it time? Reveals. Oh. <laughs> okay. okay, well, those turned out really kind of cool. It's very different departure, though, than the design that we saw that inspired this whole thing. Oh, yeah. But they're very different. We just created, like, our own version of. I think I do like this one the best, which is funny because we got it to go really kind of watercolory, but it didn't do it as much on these ones. Which one do you like? I think I like this one the best. Okay. And I do like the thin, but I wonder if it would have looked better thicker. What do you think? I don't know. I like them just as they are. You do? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for joining me, Steve. I appreciate it. Thank you. Anytime. <laughs> you bet. Now let's do the other hand. Yeah. Catch you guys in the next one. <laughs>